question by Ginger. Huan Ying, welcome. Okay, have you heard this one? A duck walks into a drugstore and asks for chapstick. The cashier says, hey, cash or check. And the duck says, hey, just put it on my bill. You know, in the past, when food was scarce, Chinese chef learn how to use every part of the animal. This tradition passed on from generation to generation in Chinatowns. Today, we we'll use the whole duck as the birds come home to roast. But first, let's check out the Big Apple. This is New York City. And this is a duck farm near Beijing. The Connection, a restaurant in the heart of New York Chinatown called the Peking Duck House. Now in this restaurant, the Peking Duck restaurant in Chinatown, New York, they sell close to 150 ducks a day. The secret of Peking Duck is crispy skin. And the secret of crispy skin in the Peking Duck House is compressed air. It is like blowing up a balloon. Then the ducks are dipped into a sugar solution and hung to dry. The fan helps the drying process. It will take several hours. Next, the hung dry ducks are roasted in a special oven. Mmm, look at these beautiful roast ducks. They also smell so good. Let's see how many more dishes you can make from a single roast duck. Most of the meat is off the duck carcass. Nothing goes to waste in a Chinese kitchen. Use it for soup. Chef Wu starts with duck broth from his stock pot. Then add some napa cabbage, silken tofu, fresh mushroom, and shredded duck meat. It is duck soup at its best. Next, stir fry of shredded roast duck with bean sprouts. Since the duck meat is already cooked and bean sprouts and vegetables cook up very quickly, this dish takes no time at all to make. So easy. Chef Wu uses diced duck meat to make a third dish, minced duck served in a lettuce cup. Ready to be served. Lettuce cup. It is refreshing and tasty. It is a perfect dish for any meal. Look at this. Huh? This is one duck, three dishes. Yep. Chef Wu reminds me, hey, I forget the roast duck itself. One duck, four dishes. Look at this, slicing it up. I am getting really hungry. The idea is to have a tiny bit of skin and a lot of juicy succulent meat. Look at the steam, the juice, succulent. And I hope it's tasty too. Mm, come on, ah, get you fine, so. Hey, oh, chef, sit down, please join us. This is the roast Peking duck. Mm. Duck soup with napa cabbage. Wow, ching ching tong, ching tong, ma. Yeah. Minced duck served in a lettuce cup. Thank you so much. Double duty duck with bean sprouts. Mm. Mm. And of course, the proper way to enjoy Peking duck is serving Mandarin pancakes with scallions and special sauce. All of us, speechless, it's so good. You don't have to talk when it's so good, you don't have to say anything.
Mm. One duck, four dishes. <laughs> I'm getting ready because today we're gonna make three dishes from one duck. First, mushu duck wraps with a lettuce cup, a little bit different than Chef Wu's. Okay, here I have some wonderful fresh celery. I cut it in an angle. Oh, this is like a diamond cut. Look at this. That I call diamond cut. I cut it up, cut it up, cut it up, and I put it right over here. Get all of these ready. You don't want to do it really fast, you don't have to have diamond cut, you just go. Go like that, and you put it right here, okay? No problem at all. And then in the meantime, I'm gonna show you, we're gonna get ready the ah, second ingredient, which is mushroom. This particular duck wrap, you can use a lot of different type of vegetable. You can use fresh shiitake mushroom, or you can use dry shiitake mushroom, which is already soaked for about half an hour. I'm gonna first trim the stem, okay? But don't throw this away, because we're gonna put this in our broth, okay, still a lot of flavor. And then we cut it up, cut it up, and cut it up, cut into little dice like this. And I put it right over here. And the same thing with this. Cut it up, set it up, cut it up, cut it up. And I set it up, I put it right here. So mushroom and carrot and green onion. And of course, don't forget, you gotta have duck. Ah, this is the same duck that we get from Chef Wu from the Peking Da House from New York Times, just flown in here, express. This is the professional hook, look at this. They hang onto this, and then I'm gonna take it over here, and I'm gonna hold onto this, and I put it right over here, and we'll show you how to get the duck out, okay? Oh, you see this hook? You push this, push it out like this, look at this, and the whole thing comes out like that. You see, this is the hook, hook onto the whole thing. I'm gonna put this over here, and in fact, we're cooking more. We're gonna have duck, look at, come and take a look at it. This. this one is being hang dry right here. Been hang drying for about five hours already. Ready to be roasted, okay? And then I'm gonna show you how easy it is to hold on to this, hold on to this, hold on to this. I'm gonna push this out. Mm, look at this. I'm gonna get the duck breast out, okay? Get the duck breast out. Hold on to it with your hand, push it down. Hold on to this, push it down, push it down. You know what? You have a whole duck breast like that. You know what? We're gonna use this, the carcass. We also save this to do a couple other dishes. And then I am gonna take this whole thing out, put it right here. I'm gonna dice it, okay? Here, we save these, you see? Beautiful meat, nice and juicy. I cut this in half, okay? Butterfly, cut in half, and then I go cut it in two. If you don't want the skin, remove the skin. But part of the great thing about roast duck is the skin. Cut it up, cut it up, cut it up, you see? Beautiful pieces like that. And then I put them all over here. Whoa, look at how beautiful. All this duck meat. So this is gonna be for the duck wrap in the lettuce cup. Dish number one. First, get a tiny, tiny bit of this oil. Garlic and ginger. This is garlic. Make sure, okay? Look at it. Peel your garlic like this. Very, very easy. And then mince the garlic. <coughs> mince the garlic, put it right here. And then in the meantime, we don't want to waste anything, okay? Stir all this ingredient in. Ah, look at this, duck, Ooh, green onion, mushroom, a lot of green onion, and then carrot, fresh water chestnut, and then the celery, a lot of wonderful ingredients. You know, when I was in the picking the house, Chef Wu actually gave me a whole bunch of duck carcass, and I put it, <laughs> I have 25 duck carcass in my refrigerator, and this is one of them. Okay, look at this. This is one of the duck carcass I collect. I trim the tail. I don't want the tail, okay? I don't want the fat, there's a lot of fat, but this is good for soup. So I'm gonna save this while I'm stir frying this. I'm gonna put this and make duck soup for my other dish. Oh, all this bone, 
is right here. This is gonna be good. And then stir. Whoa, stir. And then because the duck is already very flavorful, you don't have to use too much flavoring. Oh, I need a tiny bit of oh, white pepper, tiny bit of salt. I want to retain the color contrast because I'm going to serve with hoisin sauce, which is also very flavorful. All I need is a few drops of oh, sesame seed oil, a tiny bit of broth, maybe. Ha, ah, that's all. Mmm, look at this. Tiny bit of broth. Ma. Ah. And then we slightly thicken this up. Ah. Make sure this is always stir. This is cornstarch solution one, portion of cornstarch to about two portion of water. Mm, you know what? This is so beautiful. I'm gonna show you how to serve, okay? This is so easy to do. Everybody can enjoy this. Here, I have the lettuce cup. And here, look at this. I have, whoa, one, whoa, this is very, very hot. This is actually Mandarin pancake. Look at this. I'm gonna put a little Mandarin pancake inside this lettuce cup. And I put a tiny bit of hoisin sauce right over here. Put a tiny bit of hoisin sauce, put it right over here, you know? And then we're going to put this right in here. This is a little bit different than Chef Wu's because you know what? I have a pancake on top of this wonderful lettuce cup. I'm going to taste this before I serve, okay? You know what? This is almost as good as Chef Wu's. So I'm going to serve it to you. Mm, very unique. Very interesting. Okay? Very beautiful. And of course, I have a few extra pieces of this. Put it right on the side. Serve with extra hoisin sauce. You know what we have? Mushu duck wraps with lettuce cups. Let's remove this, this is very dangerous. I promise you, one duck, three dishes, and I'm gonna keep my promise. This is second dish, I call it the double duty duck with bean sprout and red pepper. The first thing you do is, after you remove the breast and all the other big drum, drumstick, all you have to do is remove the rest, the remaining of the duck meat. You don't wanna waste it. The carcass, then you put in soup. Have a big piece of meat here, we'll pull it out. And then another extra piece of meat here, we push it out. Another big piece of meat here, I push it out. All of these, I push it out. Also, I have extra meat over here, I also push it out. Now, this is all nice and ready. I'm gonna put this along with the rest of these. Now, if you don't like to use skin, hey, keep the skin away. But for me, the reason why I like Peking duck and roast duck is because the skin is so crispy and so tasty. So, for this, I'm not going to worry about diet, okay? Because I'm not eating Peking duck five times a day. Oh, this is beautiful. Stir this in. I have some extra bones. Extra bones, I'm going to put it also in my stop and make this richer and stronger. This is the duck soup we're going to make for the next dish. So never throw anything and never waste anything. Okay, all parts of the animal is use, useful and very, very tasty. And then we're going to get ready. Now, we're going to give some texture to it. So we've got bean sprout and bamboo shoot. Bean sprout, if you have the time, make sure you do this. Remove the root. Remove the root and also the leaf. Look at that. Uh, this is what the Chinese call ngan nga, means silver sprout. Okay, remove these and remove this, this is all we have here. And we don't want to have serve our dear guests, honor guests with roots. And then of course, I'm gonna get ready some extra bell pepper, okay? Set this aside and put it right over here. And then remove the seat. I always tell people, you can do it very, 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 very hick, fast. And then slice this in half. Oh, and then I julienne. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is all I need. And we're going to get ready to cook this wonderful double duty duck. 
with a bean sprout. First, use a tiny bit of oil, okay? I wanna make sure everybody can see, okay? Make sure, make sure this is hot. Turn it to high heat. Look at that, high heat, 15,000 BTU. High temperature and short time cooking. When this is ready, you put a tiny bit of ginger. Mm? Ginger and garlic. And then the duck meat. Stir, stir this. Continue to stir. Mmm, this is so fragrant. I hope you are here in the studio because my whole family is here. Oh boy, they came all the way from California. And then when this is almost ready, you put all of this stuff in here. Look at that color. Oh, this is so beautiful. It's a wonderful dish everybody can do at home. This is a wonderful cooking utensil. Or you can use this. Mmm, look at the color. Stir, stir. And never waste time. Because while you're stirring this, you know what? You can use a tiny bit of white pepper, tiny bit of soy sauce, mmm, and a tiny bit of wine. Look at this, a tiny bit of wine. Oh, beautiful. Stir, stir. You can smell the wonderful aroma. And then, of course, I'm gonna have a tiny, tiny bit of hoisin sauce for flavoring. For extra flavor, you can even use a tiny bit of duck broth. Look at this. So how easy this is. A little bit of duck broth, and then you can toss it in, toss it in. And then, if you want, you can actually make a little sauce by thickening this up with cornstarch solution. Always push this away and put this in right here. And you know what? This dish is beautifully done. And then we're gonna serve these, okay? We'll show you how easy it is to serve this wonderful dish. This, as I said, I kept my promise. Hey, it is good enough to be served to our most honored guests. But before I do that, let me taste. You know what? It's good enough to serve you, honored guests. Here we have double duty duck with bean sprouts and red pepper. Cut up some nice, regular, firm tofu. I've never made so many promises at one time. But today, I keep my promise. The third promise, duck soup with napa cabbage. That's what I promise you. Now, here, I have some fresh tofu here. I'm gonna, in order to save time, instead of cutting one by one, I put them all together. And I do it all together, like that. Look at this, you see? And I put them all together, and I transfer it right here. And then here, I have some green onion. I love the flavor of green onion. Also, it's actually quite healthy. Oh, look at this. I cut it, green onion. And besides that, you know what I have? I have some Chinese celery right here. Because this is very flavorful. So I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna cut it up into little chunks or one inch, it doesn't matter. And I put it right over here. So we are going to show you how to make all of these wonderful dishes. Now, here I have been cooking this duck carcass for almost an hour. Look at this, it actually turned a little bit creamy, milky, and I'm gonna take this all out. Mm, look at this, all of this. You don't want to save this, this is no good, okay? And then, if I were you, you know what I'm gonna do? I would make this duck soup, duck broth ahead of time, and I put it in the fridge to skim of all the oil, remove all the oil, that would be wonderful. But while you're taking a coffee break, I've been skimming of all these fats already, okay? So because I don't want the fat, I want the broth, okay? And then the next thing I'm gonna show you is put all the stuff in. If you are, this is actually a Greek dish for the school throw in because anything you can find from the fridge, left over, by all means, put them all in. I have napa cabbage, fresh mushroom, carrot, okay? And then I also have Chinese celery because it's very flavorful. So I put some Chinese celery, I even have some leftover onion and extra carrot and ginger. I put them all in. This is so wonderful because this is going to be good. 
And then, of course, put the tofu in later because the tofu is actually already good. You can actually eat tofu. It's good for you. Mm. Favor this white pepper, tiny bit of salt, tiny bit of soy sauce. And if you want, you can even use a tiny bit of sesame seed oil, okay? Mm, look at this. This is so beautiful. And I am now putting the tofu in. This is basically a very light, wonderful soup that you don't want to waste anything. I promise you in the very beginning, I learned this from Chef Wu, Ha Peking Duck House in New York Chinatown. You use every single part of the duck. One duck, four dishes. One is for the Peking Duck, and everything else you use for the rest of the three dishes. I think this is getting ready. So we're gonna get ready to serve. Now, the amazing thing is, oh, you know what? I have some extra, mm, some extra wonderful celery. I'm gonna use it for garnishing. And I'm gonna serve these. Mm, look at how beautiful. This is absolutely wonderful tofu soup with Mmm, this is beautiful. And I put this over here, and I will garnish this first. This is really nice. Mmm. Wow, duck soup with Napa cabbage. This is just wonderful, and it's so easy too. You won't have to get up at the crack of dawn to make it. Have fun in the kitchen. I'll see you next time. Remember, if Yang can crack duck, so can you. Jia Jian.